Hello everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is physical design course where we shall be looking at some very important and very interesting topics for those who are in academics and in professional engineering world. In this video, we will be looking at very basic and very important topic, especially which is very frequently asked from the freshers in the interview. That is logic gate conversion. We will be discussing few most commonly asked questions here. Now without any further delay, let us get started. Assume that you have a two input marks and you have to create an AND gate. Now output of AND gate is, let's say it is Y pin. So Y will be A dot B. We need to create that output. Let's say this is zero pin and this is one pin and this is your select line. So if you have two inputs, we have to connect it in such a way that we will get this AND gate. To do that, the output should be AND gate. It is very simple. You connect this pin to ground, this pin to B and this pin to A. Now the select line is A and whenever it is connected to zero, output will be zero. And whenever it is connected to A, one, to, it will get B. So why if A is one, you will get B. So it is an AND gate. It is a sort of AND gate that you are getting out of two is to one max. You can also interchange it so these pins are interchangeable. If you connect B here, you have to connect A here. That gives you an AND gate. Now on a similar note, let's say you have a MUX and interviewer asks you that you have to create a NOT gate out of this MUX. To create a NOT gate out of MUX, let us say that your input is A. So output will be A bar. So it you have to get this desired output for that. Let's say this is your zero pin, it will give you complemented output and this is one pin. So what happens is you have to connect this pin as a logic high. So it will be logic high, let's say VCC or logic one. So it is connected to logic one and this will be grounded. That is logic zero. Now your input pin will come here and output will come here. Now what happens is let's say if you give zero if you give zero as input you will get logic one at output that means it is a complemented not gate and if you give one as input you will get zero as output so that depends on your a if your a is connected to zero that means a is zero select line is zero so this will give you one and if your select line selects one that means you will get zero so that is how you will always get a complemented select line and that is a NOT gate. Similarly, one can also ask about conversion of MUX to OR gate. Let us assume that we have a two input MUX. Let us say that this could be a complemented input and this is one, so zero and one. And now we expect that if there are two inputs A and B, the output should be A plus B. Now to construct a two input OR gate from a two input MUX, all we need is to understand how the logic gate or gate functions. Let us say that if A is zero, then it will be B. So Y will become B. But let us say if A is one, then it becomes one. So with similar logic, we can see that if A is your select line, all we need to do is we need to figure out that if we connect A as one, the output will always come as one. And if A is zero, then output should come out as B. This is as simple as that. So this will become our OR gate, which is constructed from two input MUX. Let us assume that interviewer asks you some little tough question like conversion of logic gate from MUX to XOR gate. So for a MUX to XOR gate conversion, let us assume that you know this that a xor b means that a b bar plus a bar b that is the output of xor gate so now uh, let us do a conditional analysis that is let us assume that if a is zero if a is zero that means you will get zero here so this will not get propagated and you will get one here so y will be b if a is zero now let us assume if A is one, obviously your Y will be B bar. You can check that here, Y will be B bar. So based on this conditional analysis, we know that there is a not applied here. So that is why we need 
two input XOR for for a two input XOR gate, we need two MOXs back to back, and we need a NOT gate construction. So to construct a NOT gate, let us assume that this is one pin, this is one pin, and now if you want your B bar to be propagated, all you need to do is connect this to ground and connect this as an input so that you get a B bar. This is a complemented input, right? So this will create a complement of whatever the input here is. So if B is the input, it will give you B bar as the output when this input is selected. When one is selected, you should get a zero. So that means complement. So we always want B to propagate. For that, what we can do is we can connect this to ground. If you connect this to ground, always this line will get selected and your B bar will propagate. B is propagated as B bar. And now you will have again 0 and 1 here and your select line, you have done conditional analysis here and here. So your select line becomes A. Now you can see that if A is 0, your Y should connect to B. And if your A is 1, your, you should get a B bar. So your B bar will come and will get selected on this line so that you will see that if A is 1, you are getting B bar. Now if A is 0, you should get a B. So all you need to do is you have to connect this to this. That way you always get XOR gate out of this construction. It is pretty easy if you have your fundamentals understood. That's all for today. Please do let us know your feedback in the comment section. And if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comments or maybe you can write us in the email also which is in about us section. Please do give your like and give your feedback. That is very important to us. Thank you.